On the 30th of August 1980, Stephanie Summers was a 36-year-old woman who lived in an apartment located at 3500 block of Marathon Street in Silver Lake, Los Angeles in California. She had only recently moved there from Newhall, Santa Clarita. At her apartment, she was getting ready to spend the day with her 11-year-old nephew, Kelly Roberts, from Santa Clarita Valley. She was planning to collect him and take him to Six Flags Magic Mountain as a belated birthday present. Kelly got dressed up especially for the occasion. However, Stephanie never made it there. Concerned, the authorities were contacted and completed a welfare check on her and discovered her lifeless body laying in her apartment. She'd been viciously beaten and violated before being bludgeoned in the head with an eight pound weight and stabbed 16 times. Forensic evidence was collected at the crime scene, including that from Summer's body and an extensive investigation began. People were interviewed, however the leads went nowhere and the case went cold. The case remained unsolved for decades until Los Angeles detectives received a lead in 2014 that implicated a man named Harold Anthony Parkinson. He lived a mile from the victim that could be a suspect in the case. On the 19th of June 2014, a DNA sample collected from Parkinson was consistent with the DNA profile taken from Stephanie's body and he was charged with taking her life. Parkinson was already in jail however, serving between 15 years to life at the Chuckawalla Valley State Prison in Blythe for another unrelated attack. This happened in Los Angeles on the 8th of April 1981 when he shot a man named Derek Eugene Perry. Derek succumbed to the injuries and passed away. Parkinson began serving time for that sentence on the 5th of March 1982. His sister Dolly said, I remember the last meal I had with Derek. It was at Sizzler Restaurant. He gave me a hug and told me he loved me. She described her older sibling as an excellent surfer and BMX rider and a brilliant big brother. It was unknown or undisclosed what the motive of the attack was. After learning that Parkinson was arrested for a separate attack, Dolly said that he is a dangerous man and should never be allowed back on the streets. In court, Parkinson's lawyer argued that he hadn't violated Summers and the two were romantically involved and they slept together a few days before she was attacked. But the prosecutors argued that Summers, after a brief marriage to a man, had told friends that she was only attracted to women. Los Angeles court judge Kathleen Kennedy described Stephanie's case as a very degrading, horrible, violent crime. She believed there was enough proof beyond reasonable doubt that Parkinson was responsible for this. On the 4th of February 2021, Harold Parkinson, who's now 61 years of age, was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. 